Hello and welcome to the Fluency Translation Memory Tutorial. I'm going to demonstrate how to import and export translation memories and also how to manage them within Fluency. Let's get started by uh, importing some translation memories right here from the welcome menu. And this brings me to the import export translation memories dialog. From here I can either import translation memories or export them. You can also access this dialog directly from the translation memories menu and import export TMs. Start off with we're going to import a TMX file or a translation memory exchange file. I have a couple examples here on my desktop. Fluency supports the import of uh, the following files. So we have TMX files, bilingual word documents, Trottles bilingual TTX files, Trottles TW the export text files, tab limited text files, which is very common for WordFast, DejaVu, and some of the others, and SDLX and XML files. So like I said, this one is a TMX, so we'll go ahead and click on this one and import it. Now at this stage, it's recommended to at least provide a project name or client name. This provides options for adding and removing additional translation memories should you need to do so. So for example, we'll go ahead and put in IBM there just for fun and press import. And we've now imported 21 translation units from one translation memory. So now if I go in translation memories and do manage TMs, click OK there, you'll see that I have 21 translation units in there. And they're all for the client IBM. Now let's demonstrate importing a tab delimited text file from WordFast. Browse for the file here. Open that. Now Fluency presents this with a quick dialog to help us determine the encoding of the file. Um, by reviewing this text here we can determine if it looks proper. For example, if the diacritics are missing or um, any of the text looks inappropriate, then we can just switch to a different encoding. In this case, either encoding will be fine. So we'll move forward from there. And you'll notice that Fluency has automatically detected the source and target languages. If it is uh, a text file, then you may need to indicate the source and target languages in this uh, section here. Uh, but many files will actually indicate what, which language pairs they are uh, working in. And again, we'll go ahead and put in the client name here. Now to export a translation memory, go back to the import export screen, go to export translation memories, and from here I can either export all my translation memories, which I have for English to Spanish, or I can filter down to just a subset. So in this case, we can grab just the ones for IBM and export them. And we'll grab only the ones uh, that match that filter. We're going to also apply additional filters, such as project and domain, to provide a subset of the overall translation memories. Also, while we're in there, let me jump back in there. You can also export from Fluency into tab delimited text files as well. And that will just have the source segment and the target segment. In managing translation memories, on occasion you'll import a translation memory from a client, do the translation, and then feel the need to remove those translation memories from the client. In Fluency, this is very straightforward. We just go to Tools, Remove TMs Wizard, and from here we can select the client or the domain or the project and remove it based upon these filters. And so, for example, if we had 200,000 translation units in here but wanted to remove just the ones for this client and maybe even specifically this client and a project, we could activate both of those filters and Fluency would just remove those ones and leave the rest there. 
And this concludes the basic tutorial for translation memories, importing and exporting, and managing them.